Hey everyone, how's it going? So obviously, I'm not home, <laughs> and as such, I'm going to do a live reaction instead of a review because a review takes more time editing-wise, and I just don't have that time. I'm super tired. I, I've been, you know, catching flights and, like, walking all over the place since since this morning. Let me show you something. So you see those people down there? You see those vans? So there's like a, there's like a Conan O'Brien taping going on outside of my hotel <laughs> um, but I gotta I gotta make a video about one piece that comes first I have no idea why the chapter hasn't come out on manga stream already maybe it's because manga stream knew that I was gonna be late with my with my video and so this they decided to postpone it <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding I obviously have no idea why so here we go 873 trap like sweets in a cage all right before <laughs> Bartolomeo just royally messed up because this town is under the protection of the red hair Yonko. Yo, Barto, you better just dip. Get out of there. Get out of there. You were mi mistreating these citizens. Man, I, you know, this is so cool. If, if this cover story actually leads us to the man himself, Shanks, this is going to be so cool. Wow, I did not expect... Man, these these twists. Oda comes in with those twists, even even in the cover stories. That's great. I also kind of wonder if Bartolomeo knows that Shanks was the one to inspire Luffy Senpai to to go on his adventure and and become a pirate. Because then that way Bartol can just like talk to Shanks and you know <laughs> narrate his experiences with Luffy and tell him how how good he's been doing. Unless he's like, I'm so ashamed. Please forgive me, Shank Senpai, for destroying your town. I never meant to cause any harm to the mentor of my idol, Luffy Senpai. But anyway, so the cake is, you know, collapsed or whatever. Are you all right? Give me a hand here. I thought I was going to die. I'm going to be crushed by the cake. Who's who's speaking? We were prevented from assassinating the Vinsmoke family. And on top of that, Beige betrayed us and plotted to assassinate Mama. So these are just the sons. Oh, look at that. Punch bowl lady with the with the hair and the punch bullness. Uh, what's her name? I haven't seen her in a while. I thought Oda had forgotten about her, to be honest. Kampat or Kampote. First daughter, eldest daughter of the Charlotte family. This is like a big mom pirate group huddle. And there comes Peckham's. He's back. So those bastards ran away. Um, all the Fishman pirates gathered their belongings and ran back to Fishman Island, as we find out, or as we already knew. So, what is that? It's like Daifuku, right? I think that's Daifuku telling Katakuri that, Your orders are my command, Katakuri. We're in pursuit. Um, and they're actually blaming Jimbe for, like, setting the, this thing up with uh, betraying Big Mom, so that that would be the signal for the rest of the Fishman pirates to run, which, that's not the case. I mean... You know, they, I think they had already left, even way before that even happened. A separate squad is already invading Jerma. Oh, okay. So they are pursuing the Vidsmokes. That's great. Because the last chapter, I thought, why why aren't they pursuing the Vidsmokes? Good, Brule, come with me. I guess that would make sense, because that would allow pretty much Katakuri the ability to teleport and appear anywhere in Totland where there's a mirror to get his hands on the Straw Hats faster. So props to Katakuri once again. Katakuri is so good at his job, man. Employee of the month of the year or of the century for big mom pirates i don't know um that's what i plan to do i will take straw hat luffy's head myself i have to kill him before he becomes an existence that will seriously threaten mama wow oh yeah that observation hockey is is more than just seeing the future you can you can see people's potential can't you the will of d got detected by katakuri man the, and, and I love this phrase because it, it makes it, once again, makes it obvious that Luffy currently is not ready to take down Big Mom because Katakuri is saying, you know, I have to kill him before he becomes. So in the future, he will become someone that will seriously threaten Mama. Kind of almost makes it seem as if he's making a prophecy in a, in a very cool way. So everybody or everyone get away from the town. Smoothie! Oh, Smoothie's coming. Oh, forgot about her. Get as far away as you can. 
uh, what is it at a time like this? What's the matter, Sister Smoothie? Run away, Monsieur, run away. Oh, there she comes. No way at a time like, oh man. You know this is probably Smoothie. Okay, I'm assuming Smoothie is like, what, the second strongest sweet commander? And she's panicking all over the place. Look at, look at that. Like, Big Mom is in the background like Godzilla. Why is, why is, what's his name? Oprah. Why is he flying, like, from behind her? What's going on? <laughs> that person she's holding in her hand. Oh, she, she is holding him. She's about to throw him. And, and she actually has hockey, arm hockey on her fist. So he got his lifespan sucked out. So he, is he, is he dead? Even if you're reckless, you should have known not to stand up to her. Nobody else get close to her. Okay. Smoothie, you should all know this already. There's no way to stop Mama's eating disorder unless you bring out the food that she wants. Ah, oh, here comes Sanji with that cake. Horrible, horrible outcome. Uh, where's the head chef? He's the only person able to remake the cake. That's the thing. Strusen Sama is... Oh, Strusen, look at that. Uh, even though he saved everyone's life, he failed to make a good landing himself. So this was... <laughs> so Gabon was hyping up Struzan last chapter, saying that, you know, you know he, he could be a pretty tough opponent. And that slash was pretty impressive. Like, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a Pika-level type of cut or slash, but it was still pretty impressive. But now look at him. What, what happened? So he has no durability whatsoever. I mean, uh, you know... It'll take more than a few days for him to rec Yeah, so his durability is straight up trash, man. I get the feeling that the only reason why this happened to him is because, once again, Sanji has to be the one to cook the cake for Big Mom to just resolve this issue. And it's like... <sighs> and see, the problem that I have with that coming true, like, let's say Sanji does bake her a cake and everything's settled. The problem with that is that it addresses an issue that nobody has. It's like... Nobody's doubting Sanji as a cook. Who's doubting his ability as a cook right now? No one. We already know that he's a great cook, okay? But when it comes to when it comes to him taking W's, especially post time skip, entering the new world, that's that's where we're lacking. But at the same time, I've also learned my lesson to not judge too soon, especially when it comes to Oda's writing. So hopefully he, he pulls through with Sanji by the end of this arc. Um so like, Big Mom is just chowing down on this golem of a, of a building. And then, Mama, there is a wedding cake. What? There was a spare cake made, Mama. One that was uh, made usually uh, using carefully selected ingredients to the point of making you drool. The best wedding cake. We wanted Mama to eat it no matter what, but shockingly, it was stolen by the Straw Hat Pirate crew. That, uh, that's actually pretty smart of him. If you're lying... You'll definitely pay for it with your lifespan. That was a stupid, stupid idea, pero spero. Zeus. Yes, mama. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Goku. <laughs> Wedding geki. I like how at first Napoleon was really weirded out and upset about mama's mood, but now he's kind of angry sort of mimicking her emotion, and we have to give a feat to Zeus. I mean, that, w w lifting that woman is definitely a feat. Smoothie says it's good because it actually bought them some time. Katakuri says this is very bad. At the very least, this island will be destroyed, which I like because it moves us forward. It means that we're, we're never returning back to Whole Cake Island again, no matter what happens. Big Mom will be leaving to face Luffy elsewhere. Pudding's back. Pudding and Peckham's are back in this chapter. Uh, I'm guessing Pound is next. Uh, the wedding cake this time will be a chocolate chiffon. Like Capone's wife, chiffon. Like Lola's sister. If it's the taste of the chocolate we're talking about, I won't lose to even the head chef. Oh yeah, that's right, because Pudding... Pudding had like a chocolate store or something, right? Like a cafe. So I just finished reading the chapter because I really got to go. But a couple of things. First of all, I definitely think Pudding is up to something. I don't think it's just like, yeah, I'm going to bake a cake and Big Mom can take care of the straw hats. And that's how I'll repay her for killing them. I, you know, remember, she's a very good actress. So maybe she decided, you know, it, we haven't seen her in a long time. 
like from from a, a chapter standpoint. So maybe she actually made up her mind that she was going to try and do something to help the Straw Hat. So I don't think that it's that simple that she's actually making this cake, all right, to uh, to to save the day. In fact, she actually says Chiffon will actually listen to me. So maybe she actually tells Chiffon, "Don't worry, this is for this is for your own good. Help me out here." This is definitely turning into an Alice in Wonderland type of escape going on here with, with everybody chasing them. Also, who was complaining about Nami riding Jinbei? Was it Luffy? Because that kind of seemed out of character. That's I don't think Luffy would care if that were the case, unless it was Pedro. Normally those lines of, of, of uh, complaining about Nami go to either Usopp or Zoro. We find out that King Bomb has been reattached. Uh, he's been patched up by a tree that has a crush on him or something. Uh, and Nami actually cries when she finds that out because it's like, ah, I thought you were dead. Amande! Just cut him in half. Uh, and I also want to say how it was so convenient. Yeah, like, they took away, like, half of the Vivre card from Lola, but I have another one. Like, I have a second half. I'm like, okay, whatever. Convenience, convenience. And then Big Mom is falling from the sky. Probably about to kill King Bomb again. Uh, and she's wielding Napoleon as her sword, which is really cool. I really want to see how how she uses him uh, as a weapon, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, th there is no chapter next week, which is good because that gives me time to make a video about my experience at Comic Con. So make sure to subscribe. My reviews will go back to normal to the same format as before. You know, next chapter. It's just like I said, I'm not home, so it's it's just got to do this. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you did. Comment down below. Overall, that was. A Decent, okay chapter. Take care, guys. Bye.